Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about flat bar gravel bikes, but first, coffee. What's going on? I'm so glad you guys came along for the ride. So today we are out doing a local ride, getting some miles in on the flat bar gravel bike. And the theme of today's video is actually being busy. I'm usually just doing local riding and every once in a while I'll go out on a long ride. But my day to day doesn't really allow for that because I work full time, my wife works full time, we have a dog, you know, we're very busy. So this bike actually makes local riding really fun. It's chill on the road. It's awesome on trails. It's kind of fast. It's good if you just want to like hang out and ride around. So I think a flat bar gravel bike is actually the perfect bike for people who are busy. Okay. We don't always have a lot of time to go out on a fast road ride, on an epic mountain bike ride. And because we're riding locally, sometimes we want to be under bike because you know what this does? It makes those mountain bike trails really exciting. Let's do some more riding and we'll check in in a little bit. So when you're busy, it quickly becomes apparent through riding in the city that most of the built environment is designed for cars. And so sometimes you want to get away. You want to be in nature, but you know, in a city, so our trails are relatively short. We do a lot of loops. And so the one way to keep it fun is to ride a bike that is a little bit squirrely on these kinds of trails. And so this is the perfect setup for that. about halfway through my local loop. Definitely a little bit slower than I would be if I was on my road bike, but I am enjoying the cruising pace. I'm also not trying as hard as if I was on a road bike. So that could be another good reason to get flat bars is it'll chill you out. All right, we're gonna keep riding. setting up the camera to do a ride by shot. <laughs> so let's do it. Oh man, I am gassed. This turned into more of a training ride than I thought. <laughs> Did five repeats of Bellmore. If you guys know what that is, then you know. Whew. Anyway, on with it. Bike lane. <laughs> Oh wow, that was chunkier than I remember it being. This is the perfect application for a trail like that. Usually it's just a connector from the road to the park here, but it was so chunky, hit so many big rocks on the way down. So the flat bars is where it's at for something like that.
There are three usable hand positions on these bars because of the slight sweep. The first is all the way to the edge where the grips are. The second is actually resting your hands over the brake levers. And the third is putting your hands on the arch of the bar, kind of where they bend or sweep back. And that's the fastest position if I want to catch up with some roadies in the bike lane. I am cooked. Turned about two hour ride, a little bit of training, a little bit of hill repeats. Haven't been doing those lately, so I'm feeling it. I think it's a good time for the bike check, so let's get into it right away. Obviously, the main thing is we got these crust cut loose handlebars, or loose. They're 31.8 clamp diameter. They're silver. I like the look, the polished aluminum. They're made by Nitto in Japan. Uh, I'm running a Thompson stem here. This is a 100 millimeter straight stem. Doesn't have any rise. And on the bars, I have these Paul levers. And the Paul levers are paired with a set of Yokozuna Matoko cable actuated hydraulic brakes. So these are basically as powerful with the modulation of a hydraulic brake, but they're cable actuated. So it makes it easy to swap bars. So that's why this conversion didn't require that many parts at all and it was very easy to do and I could always swap back to drop bars if I want to. The frame, it's a Trek checkpoint. It's a 56 centimeter frame, uh, aluminum, so it's the ALR model. It has sliding dropouts so you can run it single speed if you want to. I had it as a single speed when I first got it. thought that was pretty fun. The fork is carbon. It has mounts for anything cages or dry bags. You could run fenders on it. That's kind of a rad option if you were gonna commute or you wanted to go bike packing on this bike. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving the park now, and I thought it'd be a good time to then just conclude this segment about the flat bar gravel bike and why it might be a good idea if you don't have a lot of time. It's fine on the road, and it's super fun on trails. I think if you wanted to and do it in a way where it didn't cost a lot of money and it was just kind of an easy swap, you should definitely go for it. Finishing off the ride vlog with a healthy snack. It's your favorite flavor of milkshake. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.